everybody. Hi. I'm sorry I did not do a plan with me again last week. This, I mean, this is what you guys are missing. I've been living on sticky notes and notepads this week, and it's been okay. It's just been crazy. We were gonna go, uh, we did go camping last week and left on Friday, came back Monday morning, and I, um, went to film the new release videos and the plan with me last Thursday and I had one memory card at work and it was full and then uh, I did not have my card reader which was at home with my other memory card so I had no way to like empty off the memory card to film and I was like okay it's fine I'll go in early tomorrow morning and get it done and then there was just so much to do for camping that I didn't end up coming into work Monday before Friday before we left so I ended up having to film the new release video on Monday at like one o'clock when we got back from camping and cleaning the camper up and everything and I just did not have it in me to do a plan with me because I was tired because I'm getting older and doing all that camping thing for four days was a lot. It was a lot. I'm using Moroccan tiles this week. I thought I would go ahead and get started um, while I was chit chatting. So at 2.45, I thought it was fun. I almost grabbed the whale kit and as I was pulling the pieces, I was like, I don't know if I'm really feeling that this week. So not gonna use that one this week maybe next week we'll see but yeah so anyway that was kind of my filming thing i just did not get to it it's just been absolutely crazy here at work and me taking two days off of work really didn't help the situation because it's now friday afternoon and you guys know i like to film on thursday but didn't even get to that um this this thursday because i'm still just trying to play catch up so it is fine i may have to do something a little bit different going forward with videos i cannot seem to catch up on cutting which is just an absolutely wonderful problem to have that is not me complaining but when i film i have to turn the machines off and so we're talking about at least an hour every week so i don't know we'll see what we're gonna do um I may have to back the plan with me filming down a little bit. I've realized that life has gone on without me doing them, so I know it's possible. Um, they are my favorite video to film. The new release videos are just kind of, they are what they are. I need to do them, but it's not anything I look forward to like I do with the plan with me. So I just need more hours in my day, and I feel like you guys can understand and sympathize with that. I really like this orange washi but i usually do a thick one at the bottom i'm not really sure how i'm feeling about that we're gonna we're gonna put it down it's fine it's fine so yeah so last weekend was our last camping trip with the camper i have no idea where i put that ruler um jason actually sold it before we even went on the camping trip you know verbally sold it um and he told the guy that was from northern ohio that if he would let us keep it for the weekend for our last camping trip that he would drive the camper halfway to meet him to retrieve it so that i was a little nervous about that but that worked out okay the camper is gone um so i've kind of been alluding to our next thing um, and i wasn't really going to say anything until you know the ink was dry um but i figure at this point it's we are kind of keeping it quiet okay so here's what we're doing we're buying a lot to build a cabin and if you guys have been around you know that we like to go camping where lindsay from ouc has a cabin and she has a spot for us to put the camper and everything and over the last couple years with us going there, we've just really grown to love the community, the riding, the idea of having a little bit more of a permanent place um, is very appealing to me. I am not a big rider um, and it would be nice to not, like I go riding with Jason because A, he wants me to go and B, because I don't really have anything to do otherwise besides sit at the camper, which is just, you know meh so i decided that you know if we had a cabin it would kind of give me a little more freedom to hang back and ride or not ride depending on 
my current mood. So that's kind of what we have been working on is getting this property. So the reason we weren't saying anything is because that community, um, it's extremely hard to find some place. We've been looking um, and we found a place, a guy that did not have his lot for sale, but was interested in selling it and agreed upon a price. We went down there a couple weekends ago and looked at it. Everything was fine. Um, we're still waiting on the closing, but in the meantime, Jason had been starting to sign up with the electric company, sign up with um, whoever's going to install the, do the perk test for the septic system, etc. And we found out earlier this week that we can't really get electric on the property, not easily. So that turned into a big thing. I don't know. I this just blows my mind in 2023 that people can say, no, you can't have access to my property for your electric poles. And I'm like, no, this, this cannot be right. So I started getting online and looking up the Kentucky laws and statutes for that kind of thing. And I was having a really hard time finding any information. And, you know, I just, I cannot imagine that somebody is not gonna give permission to grab electric. It's unreal to me. So long story short, we found out that the homeowners association that's in this community does have bylaws about not restricting access, which here's, here's these people that are saying no standpoint. They have bought a house or a lot in the wilderness to be out in the wilderness. And it's a very wooded, beautiful area and they don't want trees knocked down to make room for power lines so i i get that i fully get that and can sympathize with that um but on the same token like if you yourself have access to electricity you shouldn't really be denying other people access to electricity so that's kind of where we are with that i i don't know if we'll make too many friends by pushing the fact that these you know homeowners association bylaws exist and that we can put poles up across their side of the road and if that means that limbs have to come down they have to come down i don't know it's kind of been i'll tell you what it's just taken a lot of the fun out of it um you know i think we're gonna push forward we're back and forth on it whether we want to you know make enemies before we move in um and that sort of thing but i think it i think it'll turn out okay it's just putting our trust in God and saying if this is not meant to be there's a reason for it and something else will come along and it'll be fine so that's just kind of been consuming my outside of work life and my inside of work life has just been catching up on all the things and all of the cutting and then um, working on reformats so I have not made a ton of progress on that this week because it's been a lot of catching up stuff and non-kitten releases and that sort of thing but it's going well we're getting there that's all that matters so i'm doing my little squiggly to do's again i did already fill out my social media um boxes so i have i decided to fill my plan with me first because i didn't want to run out of time to do a um the plan with me if i filmed the release videos. So what I'm planning to do, depending on how this goes, is do a non-kit new release video and next week's kits video when I end this one. But I've got a little bit of wiggle room here. I can move the non-kit new releases to Friday, film it next Thursday if I need to. It's going to be fine. We're going to we're going to do the things as best we can. I just have to Except the fact that I am one person and there's only so much I can get done in a day, week, month, year, you know. Okay, next week, new releases 263 and 264. I have an eyelash appointment on Wednesday. My daughter is volunteering at for setup for youth group on Tuesday. I think that is pretty much it on that kind of thing. I got payroll, social media in. I need to put my this week sticker down. I got that here. I just love the colors in this kit. I know this is not for everybody, but it is definitely for me. 
So this week I also went up to the local high school to get my daughter registered. So if you're new here, and I actually don't talk about my kids very much on here, but if you're newer here, my daughter was homeschooled for the last two years. We were not a fan of the middle school and I did try to get acceptance for her to go to a different middle school in our county and was denied that. So we ended up homeschooling her for the two years and now it's time to go back to regular school because she will be in high school next year and the high school is much better academically than the middle school was. So I need to get her immunization form. Okay. And that, I think I need to get her and her birth certificate and I have a little bit of time I have all the paperwork that I need to fill out it needs to the counselors aren't even there to get her enrolled until end of July so I'll get it together this week and then at the end of July I'll be able to take it back up there and get her actually all set up so all good stuff there just one more thing in the life of adulting you know you know how it goes so that is that all right we got to do's um i think i am done with the add-on listing so we just need to finalize that for the reformats is what i'm talking about I'm gonna need another line there. One, one listing. All right, so August, so this is funny. Uh, this is kind of funny. Um, I opened up my shop in January of 2014, the Orange Umbrella Co. shop. I had had another shop for about five years prior to that. Um, and I opened up the Orange Umbrella Co. shop. It was gonna be a second shop where I was gonna do both of them and just have different items in different shops. And Orange Umbrella Co. ended up taking off so quickly and so well that I ended up closing the first shop. Okay, so the reason I'm saying that. The anniversary for Orange Umbrella Co. is in January, and we didn't start doing planner stuff until several years after that. Well, the other day, probably about a week or so ago, I went and dug through like hundreds of pages of sold items in our Etsy shop to find the very first planner listing that had ever sold. And it happened in August of, 2000 I don't even know 2018 or 2019 it was in August so we were like you know what we're gonna start doing an anniversary sale in August and that way there's kind of something fun because it's kind of common for shops to do anniversary sales right so anyway it's taken me this long to even figure out when our planner anniversary is so we're gonna do a sale in August details forthcoming but I need to do a sale freebie and right now I'm thinking a big quarter or half size sheet of a sampling of all the things that we have list not all of them some of the things we have listed this year I thought would be really fun so I need to kind of work on that and see if that's something I need to do or that I can assign to Kim to take care of but we will start working on all of that sale prep so that'll be fun Oh yeah, we're definitely doing these big ones this week. Oh, they're orange. Um, I have a lot of orange at the bottom. I don't know if I want more orange. And of course that does not have navy. Well, that went well. Let's see here. Let's do these. I like Lindsay's hand doodle books. And this one has a navy colorway on it that we can use. Perfect. Oh, I also have red. Nope, nope. And hello, I'm back. Me and my indecisiveness. Let's, yeah, let's do the red. Because I really like these. These are cute. 
Do I want these? Or the more square ones? I don't know what I want, you guys. Oh, I'm not using those. I'm missing a couple. Okay. Well, this is just working out swimmingly. All right, so we've got that. Now let's move this out of the way so we can put the books in. I have been reading, um, not as much as I would love, but pretty sure I could quit my day job and not have enough time to read, you know, so such is life. But I am currently reading When You Disappeared by John Mars. So if you like psychological thrillers, it's a good one. I'd recommend it. John Mars is a little bit of a newer author. Um, his stuff is on Kindle Unlimited, which I am not subscribed to. Um, but there's kind of been enough of a hype about him in some of the book Facebook groups that I'm in that I actually purchased um, a book by him. And when I started looking, my library did not cover anything or did not carry anything from him. And I was like, I want to try them enough that I am going to buy the Kindle book. So I bought a Kindle book, but I was looking through my TBR the other day for the next book and they, they now carry some of his books and it's one that I haven't read. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get this because I want my library to know that they should carry more of his books. So I'm going to read that next, which will be three John Moore's books in a row, which is not something I normally do. I like to like skip around between different um different authors you know but anyway that's what's happening so i already have my next book picked out i'm hoping to finish this book this weekend and get a little downtime so we'll see all right so church on sunday and if emily volunteers i don't know what time we will go so we will Stick it in the 11 o'clock and then I can put the time in there. Um, I do know that I keep forgetting to put the recycling out. So I need to remember to do that because both of our big, huge carts are full. So that is that. Um, I know I have recycling in here somewhere. Let's see how quickly I can find it. And then I also need to put in Emily's volleyball game, which I think she only has a couple more games left. Okay, recycling out. And let's get these volleyball practice and volleyball game. So practice at 11. I'm off the hook for practice because Jason has been helping the coach out. So that's been kind of nice because he's there. He can take her and I need to check and see when the game is. Okay. That is a 5, 10 PM game. Let's get that in there. Okay, and that, I think, let's go ahead and get this in here. Okay, let's shoot for getting the vertical priorities reformat done. And I'm going to start the Hobonichi Cousin reformat, hopefully, because that one is going to have quite a few changes. So that one might take me the better part of a week to do. Start. Cousin. Okay. Not a super long or exciting plan with me, but it's in. It's done it. I'm accountable you know, all the things. So let's slap a few full boxes in here because why not? Because I grabbed the TPC full boxes because I love them. I love them. All right, so let's do this one here. 
and which one do I want to use? Let's use this one here. And I'm trying to think, I think I am going to go ahead and put them, no, no, I'm not. Okay, delivery, always. I'm not gonna put the full boxes down. I wanna wait and see kind of what happens. I like to have them staggered more so than straight across the page. It's just kind of to my jam, but yeah. Lots of stickers left over, poor usual. I'm gonna stick those in the back here and we are gonna call this good for this week. It was so good to chat with you guys and catch you up on what's been happening in my life. If you're watching still, leave me a comment. Let me know what you've been up in, up with in your life because I feel like sometimes these conversations are pretty one-sided and that is not my jam. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.